Hey, what's up, guys? This is Eugene Pentland from Pentland Designs, and today I'm going to be showing you version 2.0 of my coin sorter. So, in the comments of one of my previous videos, someone said that Jat.mn had made a review of my old coin sorter. So, he went over all the flaws that were in the design, and I figured I could easily fix all of the problems that he had been having. So, in version 2.0, the main improvements are the hopper has a big cone attached to it, so it makes it much easier to guide the coins in. It is now slotted slightly so that this stays in place and does not move on its own so you don't have to worry about holding it down while you're using it. Um, the whole base was redesigned so on the previous version there was a fifth side that the coins would start there and then go around but in this one I cut down on material and made it so it just starts in between two spots so that you don't need that fifth spot anymore. Um, most other things about the design are still the same. Um, we got the part that spins in the center. There's, it looks like a slight cam now, and this is to allow uh, coins like a penny. If they were, if it was only the shape of a quarter, and it was being pushed, it may end up not directly in the center when going around, and that might cause it to miss the correct hole. So now when it gets pushed, it goes right up against the back and stays aligned exactly center as it's spinning around. I ended up printing these sleeves out of TPU, which makes them flexible, um, just because that was the only other material that I had that was a different color. I would not recommend doing this though, because even the slightest of deform deformation at the top makes it so the coin may end up getting caught as it spins around. So just stick to using hard plastics for these sleeves, unless you want to try out TPU. Now as well as having the name of the coin, it also says the estimated amount of money that could be stored in here. I'm not 100% sure how accurate it is, I just divided by the, the sleeve height by the coin thickness. Um, everything goes in easily. Since these are TPU, it also makes it a lot easier. If you have the hopper and the spinner on, you could just still pull these out directly and put them back. It makes it a lot easier. The design is just all around a little bit more compact. So for assembly, you just take the spinner, put it on, pop it right into place and then take the hopper, line it up, it's keyed so it goes only in one direction and then push that down and then that locks into place. So so I've got a handful of coins. The only flaw that still exists with it is that if you start out with a dime there's a chance that it might fall out from the side um, just because since it's in between two spots right now, it might end up falling out to the side when you first place it down. Um, in general, just when using it, uh, you just want to make sure the first coin that you put is lying completely flat, and then you should just be able to grab all your other coins and throw them right down in there, and they will all line up correctly. So now, that's that, now that that's done, same thing as before, you just spin it. It works much better than previously, they don't get caught, they don't end up in the wrong spot anymore. And you could do, in general, a much more fluid motion when going all the way around. And since the hopper has a wider base at the top now, you do more coins at the same time. Um, I can make another version of the hopper that's even taller if you have more coins. And now just to show that it has been working properly, I'm going to take the whole thing apart. Let's see if you could see that all the correct coins are in there, but I'll just double check. These are the dimes, three dimes, pennies, only pennies, nickels, two nickels, and the quarters, all quarters. So everything is working correctly. It works much more reliably than before. Um, less, much less of a pain to use, and overall I think just easier. So if, so Jet, if you wanted to print this new version and let me know how it goes, I'd really appreciate that. And 3D Printing Nerd, I'd love to see you print this model as well. If you have any suggestions as to things you think I could improve upon, or if you want it in different currencies, let me know in the comments below. If you have any ideas for future videos, please let me know. Thanks for watching.